לא ידעו כי אבותי כאן מוסכחו. תמי את זה הם שאלו זכי. וסתם לי את זה, עוד שמיד זה זלוז ומכה. בא לי זלוז ומכה. וסתם לי את זה, אז עוד עוד זכנס, אז אין דוקן. מות ארפאר אין בשקו אז מייקן. ואחת אלינו בפיילד יותר עץ. אז אין יוססטר. עשינו, אז מי זה זה? What it do you two what the business is now we just landed again in another pj but this time we in africa south africa that is you know and we in cape town now let's get right into it now we're gonna touch on the crazy tragic but gangster story of a 27 gang general who goes by the name of red now on february 2nd 2021 William Red Stevens, who was a general in the notorious 27 gang, was ambushed while sitting outside his home in northern Cape Town. Now, three rival gunmen approached Red in his vehicle, where they then entered multiple bullets inside his vehicle, where he was slayed. Now, moments after his slaying, his 27 gang would spark four shootings that stemmed into long gun battles with rival gangs. Now, those shootouts happened right where he was slayed at. It happened right in front of it, you know. Now, retaliation shootings and hits behind his slaying are still happening as you watch this video today. Now, Red was a member of the Numbers Gang, but he branched off to form his own. He was bending and breaking the rules, and they didn't like that at all. Now, the 27s, which mean the men of Sunrise, is a fraction alongside with the 26s and the 28s that all make up the numbers gang, which is Africa's most infamous gang that started in South Africa's prisons, but are more of a powerful force in the streets of Cape Town. Now, the numbers gang started over a 100 years ago and have a military structure and hierarchy. The military structure was shown at Red's funeral, where over 2,000 people attended to pay their respects. And almost half of those people were members of the 26s and the 27s. That should show y'all how big they were in numbers. Now, Red's coffin was carried by four generals of the 27s, where they then did a symbolic ceremony where they stomped their feet in a forward arm stance. That ceremony was a replacement for the 21 gun salute where their heavily police and army was present. So they weren't able to do the 21 gun salute due to being too many police and too many members of the army. Now, the three fractions of the numbers gang all have different roles within prison. For example, the 27s are considered the enforcers of law where they use violence to negotiate better conditions for the inmates and to enforce 
order amongst all members gang and other gangs within the prison and the streets of Cape Town. Now, Cape Town street gangs all have an affiliation with the 26s or the 28s. Now, no street gang has an affiliation with the 27s, which is why they feel they are the true holders of the numbers traditions. The reason why is because the 27s are a prison structure. They're not a street gang. You know, that's when Red took a different approach, you know. Now, he had converted to the 27s gang after leaving the 26s in prison, you know. Now, Red was known for his love of violence. He took blood and stabbed his way into the 27s gang, leaving the 26s. Now, by doing that, he attained the highest rank, which was general. You know, when he was released, he merged the 27s into a street gang where he sold protection to other gangs and businesses. Now, this is when the uh, this is when he starts bending corners and starts breaking the rules and he starts pissing other number gang bosses off. Now, he kept the street money away from the 27s in prison so he could hold full power and have full control of the 27s in the streets while he sold his assassins to the highest bidders. It was never done like that before. And they had no way of stopping it, controlling it. And it just made them even mad that this was going on without their knowledge and without their full control of even trying to stop it and get their hands within it. They didn't know why he was being this greedy and being this petty when it came to the numbers game. You know, now this only calls for the 27s on the street to make and have more money than the 26s and the 28s. But not only were the 26s and the 28s not liking this, members of the 27s weren't liking it either. The streets of Cape Town say he was assassinated by his own numbers gang. And the police say that it was connected to the prosecution of a murder case of a steroid smuggler in 2017, where 16 people were arrested for it. And all 16 of those people were hitmen for the numbers gang. And one of those people was Red. Now, Red was released a month later on bail. And that's when his co-defendant, Donkey, who was a leader of the Sexy Boy Street Gang that was affiliated with the Numbers Gang, was killed the same day that Red was released. Now, a month after Donkey being assassinated, that's when Red was assassinated. Now, they assassinated Red after his 27 gang members turned state witness. You know, so 14 of those members had turned state witness within that case, you know, and basically what they did was the higher ups ordered the slans on all 16 of those members to avoid being ratted out, you know, about how they had been extorting the steroid smuggler that led to his slaying. <laughs> now, that's the crazy story, you know, of Red. Now, I will be touching on the Sexy Boy Street Gang because they get a little busy and they get a little grimy. Pause. You know, now I'm signing out from Cape Town, man. That was the crazy story of a numbers gang general, William Red Stevens.